Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can build a Arduino controlled laser cat toy. And as you can see right now it's in action. Now the cats ain't too interested at the moment. It's been running a while. But um, stay tuned. Um, let this play for a few moments, let you see it in action, and then um, we will get over to the bench and take a look at how it's put together. Then we will go over to the Arduino IDE and check out the, uh, the sketch, the code for this, and it's really easy. It's, this project is really easy, so... All right, well... Enjoy watching this for a moment or two, and then I'll catch you at the bench. All right, Tom, um, we're at the bench, and um, this is what um, you were just seeing in action the cats playing with. Now, they didn't look too entertained, but um, the reason is I built this a few hours ago, and I've had it set up and left it run for an hour. So they were kind of getting a little bored with it for an hour straight. But uh, every day, you know, I just set it up and let it run for a half hour, 45 minutes. They're going to play with it. They were just kind of getting bored and tired out because, I, I mean, I'm dead serious. I had this running for about an hour. And I was just watching the cats play with it and laughing my ass off. But Now, this is a real easy project. Um, it's a good beginner's project. If you're just getting an Arduino, even experienced people, though, it's a fun project because your cats are going to love it. It's going to keep them entertained, give them something to do, get exercise and all that. Well, what I got here, we'll run through it quick, um, and then we'll go over to the computer and look at the code, which is actually really easy, too. But uh, what we got here is, of course, the Arduino board. Now, pretty much any Arduino board is going to work. I am using a variation that actually has pins so you can plug the servo right into it instead of having to run jumpers so you can plug right into it but you don't have to have that it's just something that I had um, they cost about the same um, as you know your regular Arduino boards on Uno's you just gotta look around and this was from China or somewhere like that. It's It was from overseas. So it was very inexpensive. Probably, I think I probably paid like $4 for it, maybe 5 at most. And that's shipping included. Then uh, also what you're going to need is a laser. Now I'm just using one of these little laser modules that um, you go on eBay, Amazon, you're going to find tons of these. They're real cheap. Easy to find. Um, then also, I am using a little servo. And these are also extremely cheap. Um, well, I'll back up for a second. This little laser module, I think I paid a buck for. Forgot to mention that. I mean, they're real cheap. But um, then this little um, servo we're using here, I think I paid... Oh heck, I think I paid like a dollar fifty something for it with shipping. Very cheap too. I mean it's a real small servo. It's nothing extravagant, but you don't need that. You just need a basic little and one of these little tiny micro servos is gonna work fine for this project. Um then of course I just have a little chunk of um scrap wood that I constructed everything on. And uh, then I put a hook on here. At the beginning of the video, you've seen the laser going on the floor and the cats playing with it. 
I um, have a line that runs across my house and I just hung it on there. Um, for your circumstance, maybe the hook won't work. Maybe you want to set this up so you can put it on a tripod, but whatever. Um, that part, I'll leave you to figure out how to do. But, um, yeah, the, you can see this is really easy. And then, you know, I just screwed the, the laser module to the servo arm, set it up, got my Arduino board. And the uh, nice thing about this, a 9-volt battery will run this perfectly. Um, I was actually using a uh, Walmart because... My 9 volts batteries, um, all of them have no juice left in them. And um, I'm actually looking on getting some rechargeable ones to help um, with some of my projects. I do have a battery pack, and I put that on here that uh, runs on double A's, but unfortunately, the double A's were getting weak, so it didn't work. But I just used the wall wart, plugged it right in, worked perfect. And as you can see, I mean, this is super simple hookup. Now, I do have the servo hooked up because, like I said, I've got the pins here for hooking up servos, and that's kind of what this specialty board's made for. But also, well, with the servo, you got a positive negative, and then you got your your pulse pin, which tells the servo where to go. So I just used those to power the laser as well. Otherwise, you just want to put the positive and the negative to the corresponding positive negative on your Arduino board or your power supply. Now, this one, you can see it has a third wire, and uh, the little laser module has one as well. That middle one, it's dead, doesn't do anything, but I just plugged them in so it wasn't flopping around because the um, jumper I had had three. It's all worked. All right. Um, I think you can see how this all works. I'm not going to knock up a schematic on this particular project. I don't think there's a reason to. I mean, it's pretty easy to figure out, you know, how to hook your servos up and the laser module. Um, if you don't know how to hook anything particular up, just do a YouTube search, Google, whatever. You'll find it. All right, um... Well, let's go over to the computer. I will bring up the Arduino sketch, which is what's controlling this, and run through it with you really quick. And um, you're going to see it's really easy. So, all right, I'll catch you over there in just a moment. All right, I have the Arduino IDE opened up here. And as you can see, um, this sketch is super simple um that's the whole thing right there that's all it takes to control this little cat laser toy so well, let's just get down to it and run through it real quick now of course um we're since we're using a servo we're including the servo library then we're defining our servo and i'm just calling it s1 for servo one then I'm setting up an integer, and I'm calling it RN. That's just short for random number. And to start with, I'm putting it at 90, which will start the servo out right in the middle. So then we go to the, uh, the void setup, and uh, we're attaching that S1 servo. And I am using um, pen 9. Uh, just make sure whatever pen you're using for the, uh, the servo, change that number to correspond. Then what we're doing is we're writing that number. So if the servo had stopped somewhere else and you unplug it, you plug it back in, it will start back out by going to the middle. And then we're just delaying for one second before we get into the void loop. So now once we get into the void loop, what we're doing is we're generating a random number and we're saving that to that integer RN, which is short for random number. So we're using the random command and then we're setting our parameters. now. You're going to want to play around with this number a little bit. I'm running the servo between position 70 and 110. You can run this from 0 to 180. That's the full range of the servo. But I didn't want it um, going up the wall on one side of the room and up the wall on the other in the cat's 
attack and curtain, stuff like that. So I just experimented around and found for mine between set position 70 and 110 on the servo. I kept it in an area that was about five feet, about a five foot area. So it was small enough to where it um, wasn't going up the walls and then it was staying near them and keeping them entertained. So then of course, after we generate that random number, we're gonna write that to our servo number one. And then what we're doing is we're delaying. And I just ran a second delay. If you wanted the laser to be moving around a little quicker, you could change this maybe to 500, half a second. If you want it to be slower, you change it to two for two seconds or 5,000 for five seconds. That's um, completely up to you how um, you want to set this up. But yes, that is all there is to it. Um, I might um, throw a web page up for this project. I'm not sure. It is so simple. You could probably just um, pause the video here and then type the code into your Arduino ID. But um, we'll see if there's actually, if you find a link in the description below that says website, well then you can go to the website and copy and paste this in your Arduino ID. Otherwise, you'll just have to pause right here and type it in yourself. But we'll see, if I get time, I'll throw a, a web page up on the website for this project. Um, just all depends if I have the time. All right, well with that, um, I think we can end this video. Uh, if you found the information useful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it big time. And, uh, well, I guess we'll say um, have a great day. Thanks for joining us here. And remember, have fun building.